Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a nature watch kit to share with you today. This is the prehistoric amber kit and this is a classroom kit so it comes with materials for 25 students. The kit comes with information about the project as well as additional information about how the project meets the state standards and of course it comes with all the materials that you're going to need. So you get amber samples here. This is unpolished amber samples. So let me show you what this looks like and also the additional materials that you get in order to polish it up. Wow, this is really nice. So you get several specimens here. You also get the sandpaper in order to polish it up. And then you get little pieces of denim in order to clean it up. And then you get some toothpaste and toothbrushes in order to really clean out those little crevices. And then you get little baggies in order for the students to take their samples home. So we're going to start this out. I've got a six year old and an 11 year old who are going to do this project. I'll join them as well. And my 15 year old might want to do this as well. So you don't know if any of the samples actually contain any pre prehistoric animals or bugs or anything but as you polish them up let's let's uh, hope that something is revealed this is gonna be really exciting all right so let me pass out the things for my kids and then we're gonna get started okay so you can come choose your sample since there's not that many of us we can actually do more than one Oh, this is really nice. So if you want to do this one, I think it'll be easier to do some of the flat ones. So all you have to do is start sanding it down like that. Okay, can you do that? Okay. So now follows the lengthiest part of this project and it is using the sandpaper in order to polish up your piece of amber. And very quickly we can get the majority of the dirt and the grime off. And some pieces are especially polished, but that wasn't from our sanding, that was just the natural occurrence for that piece of amber. So this is what it looks like about 15 to 20 minutes in. I'm gonna continue working on mine a little bit, but I wanna show you how the kids ended up doing theirs. It was a lot easier to move the piece of amber along on top of the sandpaper than to move the sandpaper on the amber. So we just laid it down flat on the table and then we just did a circular motion with our amber to really get it cleaned up. All right, so now it's time to move on to the next part of cleaning it up and that's to use the toothpaste that was provided in the kit in order to polish it up. And so we just went at it a little bit with a toothbrush and then we rinsed it off in the sink and my kids did that as well. And it really cleans it up. It looks really beautiful and it will continue to become polished just with wear. As you hold it and use it, you'll find that it gets even more polished. It was really Really beautiful and we all became attached to our particular piece of amber. Now the first two specimens did not have anything in them. They were very beautiful though. They might have had pieces of plant life that we couldn't identify but the last piece the one that my 15 year old did that one had a bug in it and it's a little bit hard to see but it's right there you can kind of see the legs sticking around that white piece on the amber and that was really exciting. All right, so this was a fantastic kit. We really enjoyed it. My son, who is 11, is picking out another specimen so that he can polish it up. This took about 20 to 30 minutes from start to finish. And one thing that really stands out for me is that my 15-year-old wanted to participate willingly, was interested in this. And so for me, that makes this kit a huge win because as a high school student, some of the things that we've done in our homeschool start to lose interest for him. And so the fact that he really enjoyed this and his sample actually had a bug in it, which was really neat, made it all the more exciting. So I was really happy that he joined us. And since we still have a few more specimens, quite a few there, we will continue to work on them and we can all now choose two or three. If you wanna see some of the other projects that we did with either our mineralogy or geology main lesson block, you can tap on the screen right now. And don't forget that you can see what we're up to on a daily basis by visiting us on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.